Hey, welcome to Generative Art with Flutter. Flutter is a cross-platform mobile and desktop app development framework. You can create amazing looking user interfaces with it, but I'm going to use it to draw onto the canvas and make animations. Last week, we put the groundwork to get the animations running on Flutter Canvas. Uh, there are links in the description to those previous videos for your viewing pleasure. This week, we're gonna make some geometric patterns like this and animate them. If you'd like to know how, follow along. It is hilariously easy. There's a gallery at the back of this video uh, showcasing uh, different patterns I was able to make. I'd like to know what you guys think about these videos, what you like about them and what you don't like about them, so I can obviously improve them for you. Feedback is much appreciated. So let's get to it. Let me show you around the code we have to begin with. Last time we created a widget called My Painter to host a custom painter. And we had particles moving randomly. This time I've cleaned up the code a bit and we're gonna create a blob field here in the animation listener callback. Our custom painter looks like this. Uh, we simply pass the particles and draw each of them. I'm passing in a random number generator here, but uh, this is a leftover from some, uh, some experiments I've been doing. Generative art is all about experimentation and you fail more times than you succeed. A bit like life. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and create some blobs. Uh, when the IDE supports code generation, you should take it. There's no point in typing out boilerplate code when you don't have to. I'll put some comments to describe what I'm doing here, uh, mostly because I'm going to forget what they are after some time, but it is also useful to you, the reader. There's uh, no reason not to have descriptive comments. The first thing to do is to draw a circle in the middle. This is like a religious ritual. Um, the generative gods won't be happy without that big blob in the middle. Okay, now that's out of the way. Uh, let's draw some circles around it. See, I told you this is hilariously simple. For this type of thing, it's very easy when we use um, polar coordinates. When we want to go around a point, we just have to increment the angle. Um, we set the radius of the child blob to be one third of the orbit radius. Great, great. That looks like some sort of a weird snake bite, or maybe an octopus, or maybe a pentapus. Hilarious. Uh, okay, enough chit chat. Let's put on the big boy pants and recurse his mother. You always have to know your exit strategy when you do recursion. And here it is. Ain't that beautiful? I should get this tattooed on my forehead. <laughs> By changing the number of blobs, we can change the shape.
also by changing the child's orbital radius factor. That's a mouthful. We can manipulate the density. Now, I will attempt to move these blobbies around. I've spent so much time with them, I've grown rather fond of them. They're like my children. This should be done inside a set state so that the canvas will update. It's a matter of simply increasing the angle of the orbit position and this is how it is done. Since we are repositioning the blob, we need to know the center of the orbit as well. That seems to do the trick, although a bit underwhelming. Let's poke some variables around to make it look anything other than a carefully placed pile of p Okay, let's make this baby pretty with some colors. I know, I know, I'm passing in an alpha value but ends up not using it. Uh, this is common in generative art experiments or experiments in general because some of the things uh, work out and some don't and in editing the video, some parts get cut out. Uh, you could experiment with blend mode to get some effects when compositing the colors. I'm trying out a few here. By changing the radius factor, we can make it bounce. And I've created a slider to test this out, so I don't have to keep punching in the numbers.
Now, um, now I will replace that with this function because I get bored poking the slider. <laughs> Here is a gallery of the effects and colors I've came up with. Uh, enjoy! Like always, thanks for watching. If you like what I create, uh, please hit that like button, subscribe and share to support the channel. Next week, I may make a spectrogram for audio or something with purling noise. I don't know yet. Um, till you next time to find out. Bye for now.